Welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, I got into a lightsaber duel with the Alien Queen, but you guys didn't get to see it because the music in the boss fight was copywritten. Sorry! Obvious lies aside, we're heading to the observatory so we can get the, uh, the manual coordinates. Sorry, so we can manually enter the coordinates of the Torrens in order to contact them. To which I kind of call bullshit, because I would have figured if that was an option, we would have done it HOURS ago. Like, right after we found out that the, uh, uh, comm systems were locked out. That's not... Hey, we can do this. The uh, vent over here opens out flat this way. Just have, to, just have to hope for the best. Hey, you're the ones who are gonna open fire on any fucking one you see. to do something that I might seriously regret. Are you ready, kids? A fresh new noisemaker. Just for you guys. Oh, son of a bitch! I could have just ignored them. I had the map oriented wrong in my head. Ah, oh, fuck it. I really screwed that one up. To date, I have only found, like, two people? Well, I guess there was weights in his crew, but fine. I've only encountered two people out in the world. Flamethrower noise. that where I'm going? Yes, yes it is. So as long as they stick to their side of the room... Oh, there was a sensor over here, wasn't there? Damn.
I remember an episode of Mythbusters that more or less ruined an entire genre. Or they established that uh, a human being crawling through uh, ventilation vents, even if they're big enough, you know, to fit a human being. Well, it's really thin metal, so you're constantly banging and crashing around in there as you move, and uh, it makes a ton of noise. I think they were specifically trying out a uh, scene from a movie. I remember trying to get over here uh, way uh, long ago. Yeah. That was before I even had the first torch. And go. That guy's been shot. You know, I gotta say, as uncomfortable as this game makes me, I love the retro future feeling of it. I didn't even know I would. I was born in 85. This is before my time. It was kind of designed for the... Oh. A. Oh, I am standing up. I just, uh, damn it. I'm trying to get a good shot of that uh, dish right there, but that stupid thing in the window is in the way. Go. Wow. You can really see all the arcs and stuff on the sun. Oh, there we go. Even says uh, Torin's coordinates. Did I time that properly? They might have taken a screenshot when the 35 was uh, black. Oh. Seventy-five B. Thirty-five A. Seventy-five B. Just in case. They probably won't have to, but you know. I 
can unlock the entrance from the airlock from here. Give me a sec. Thank you, Ricardo. Alas, it's not one of the cool ones like from Waits' office, where it looks like a where it looks like samurai armor. I kind of want to see if I can save like this with a big glove in my hand. like this. I can crouch like this for some reason. Okay, so you can just do that at will. I couldn't even hear that in there. That's a flamethrower. Well, let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, that's a weird glitch. I didn't actually accomplish anything except faffing around. Let's uh, just go. I can't move from this spot. Well, I guess I had to cycle through. God. Can't run. I can't even imagine being an astronaut and doing this on a regular basis. Oh man. That's probably not supposed to be there.
Death Star. Here's your screenshot. Servo lock on. Parabolic antenna in fixed position. Damn it! So anything, there's an overall console by the transmitters. Super tense. You probably got that. Space is not the most inviting place in the world. It's probably because it's not on any world. I do like the reflection of the sun there, it's kind of neat. I guess those are microphones. Oh yeah, no flashlight. It was on the side of my head. Okay, great. Crap! Sorry. One hell of a view out here, I'll give it that. I'm not sure how I feel about the entire station apparently sharing Tommy's fate falling into the planet. sake. Hmm. Oh man, I just have a hunch. No, no, not really a hunch so much as it is paranoia born from hours of constant fear. I keep thinking about that scene at the end of the first movie. It's a goddamn sleeping one. There was only the one where he was sleeping in the uh, escape shuttle. Great. If you can hear that in space, it really needs maintenance. Thank you. 
try this again. We got a 35, huh? It was vibrating when I got there. And the other one was 75. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. As we make our way back inside, and uh, I guess I try to uh, finish the last few things of backtracking before we, uh, you know, get off this station once and for all. Later!